Happy Halloween! Have you all got your costumes ready yet? Well, I have an easy and cheap way to make this last minute headdress. So if you want to find out how to make these deer antlers, stay tuned. And let's get started! For this tutorial, you will need a headband, some masking tape, some pipe cleaners, a paintbrush, some tissue paper, some flower headbands, PVA glue, air dry clay, some acrylic paint, and some scissors. To start, wind the pipe cleaners around the headband to create the main structure for your antlers. Then, if you want to, wind more pipe cleaners together for extra strength. Next, grab your masking tape and wind it around the pipe cleaners from bottom to top. The masking tape will lock the pipe cleaners in place, keeping the shapes that you made. Make sure that you add the most masking tape to the base of the antlers to make them sturdier. You'll want to cover the whole thing, ready for the next step. Get your PVA glue and add some water to make a diluted glue mix, ready for the paper mache step. Tear the tissue paper into small pieces to make it easier to apply to the antlers. Layer on the PVA glue mix and tissue paper with the paintbrush until the antlers are completely covered or until enough of the edges of the masking tape layer have been covered to create a smoother antler. I preferred the white tissue paper for this particular project because it creates a better colour for the painting stage. Once you're done, leave the paper mache to dry completely. The antlers will become solid ready for the next step. Next, grab your air drying clay. Take a very small piece and make sure to make it fairly thin for easier application. Add the air dry clay to the tips of each antler branch and smooth it down to blend it in with the rest of the antler. You can skip this step if you want, however the clay gives a smoother and rounder finish to the antler tips. This stuff is super soft and easy to use as it can be easily moulded and dries very quickly. Keep going until all the branches are done, and then it's time for the final step. It's painting time! For this, I used orange, black and white acrylic paint. To start with, add a slightly off-white base colour to the antlers. I used the white acrylic with a dab of orange to make a pale hue. Cover both sides of the antlers. Next, we're going to build up colour. I want to add a nice gradient effect to this headdress, so in order to do that, I'm going to start with a dark brown. Mix the orange with the black paint to create a dark brown and apply to the bottom of the antler. From here, you want to move upwards, moving towards each branch tip, adding more and more white to the brown paint until you reach a similar hue to the pale base. Leave each tip with the palest colour and make any necessary touch-ups. Repeat the same method to the other side and leave to dry. For the last step, grab some flower headbands or any flower hair accessories and you're finished! Now you can prance around a wooded area and pretend to be a fawn. Or maybe just wear them at your next Halloween party. For the final look, I chose to wear this auburn wavy wig. But you can style this headdress with whatever hairstyle or accessories that you want. It's entirely up to you. Have fun with it. I also applied some casual fawn-like makeup, but you could even make this into a zombie deer or a druid creature. All the materials and products I used will be listed in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks so much for watching. Happy Halloween!